good morning dear students yesterday we have explained molar elevation constant which is known as the symbol of molar elevation constant is kb now we will study on the same pathway molar depression constant which is known as kf but what is the difference between kb and kf no large difference between kb and kf b means boiling point and f means freezing point we know that what is boiling point so with, temp uh, with temperature liquid convert into gaseous form this temperature is known as boiling point but at which temperature liquid convert into solid that is our freezing point but now we will discuss about freezing point the freezing point having molar depression constant kf depression means decreasation and elevation means increasation but now what is the basic difference between kb and kf now we will study in brief now focus on the board just see here molar depression constant kf yes uh, as uh, same as yesterday's questions we have three different type of beakers in beaker number one we had 100 ml of distilled water in beaker number two we have 10 gram of sugar plus 100 ml of water in beaker number c we have 20 gram of sugar plus 100 ml of water now uh, we have to freeze these three beakers yesterday we have explained that we we, we are going to heating this three different type of beaker but now we will freeze these three beakers if we will freeze these three beakers and if we want to uh, gain our temperature decreasing temperature at the rate of zero degree celsius so 100 ml of distilled water which will convert into zero 10 gram of sugar uh, plus 100 ml of water zero 20 gram of sugar plus 100 ml of water zero but now question arise in our mind on the same as last question in me se kon sa beaker aisa rahega ki jise ice mein convert hone ke liye zyada time lagega main aap sabko question yahan par puch raha hu ki isme se kon sa beaker aisa rahega ki jise ice mein convert hone mein zyada samay lagega मुझे लगता है आंसर आपके सामने है आपने सोच लिया होगा आंसर रहने वाला है सी बिकॉज इसमें 20 ग्राम ऑफ शुगर ज्यादा शुगर मिक्स की हुई है दैट्स व्हाई दिस बीकर सी टेकिंग मोर टाइम टू कन्वर्ट इनटू आइस सो द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ बीकर सी इज लोअर सो फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ बीकर सी इज लोअर दैट मींस फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ सॉल्वेंट इज हायर देन freezing point of solution freezing point of solvent is higher than freezing point of solution but what is freezing point at which temperature liquid converts into solid this temperature is known as freezing point that's why we are taking here kf for molar depression constant now on the same weather yesterday we have explained just see this is beaker number a pure water the pressure of water is P0 and the temperature of pure water is T0. Yesterday we have said that T0, P0. Okay, now for solution number 1, beaker B, the temperature is T1, pressure is P1. We know that for being a temperature, we have to come inside because so, uh, the freezing point of solution will decrease this ke liye hume hai aur boiling point ke liye hume bahar jana hai yesterday hum bahar gaye the is baar andar aa rahe hain again for solution number 2 beaker number c the pressure is p2 and the temperature is t2 this is beaker number c now we will draw a plot just see this is B, this is E, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, on the same way, just we have explained in the yesterday's concept, decrease in vapor pressure of solution 1. Decrease in vapor pressure of solution 1. This is beaker B, solution number 1. What is the difference in vapor pressure? The vapor pressure of solution B is P1, but pressure, vapor pressure of solvent is P0. So, the answer is here P0 minus P1 is equal to delta P1 and the delta P1 is equal to AD. Delta P1 
is equal to ad then decrease in vapor pressure of solution number 2 p0 minus p2 delta p2 is equal to ae this is ad delta p1 and this is ae delta p2 so delta p1 and delta p2 both are here now decrease in freezing point of solution number 1 what is the difference in so higher is p0 t0 minus p1 is equal to delta t1 and it is our bd bd that means delta t1 and ce means delta t2 t0 minus t2 is equal to delta t2 this is our ce so this is the basic points are here decrease in vapor pressure of solution number one it is p1 and this one is p0 so p0 minus p1 delta p1 p0 minus p2 delta p2 t0 minus t1 bd and this one is ce so this is the basic concept that we have explained in yesterday's plot also vapor pressure versus temperature but there is uh, that was uh, tb and now this is tf again now we will uh, see this important point just see that is very important concept just note down this important point i will take image of this that i will send you in after some time okay now we are in the next point just see here triangle a b d triangle a b d and triangle a e c is here now important condition b d parallel c e so on here on the basis of yesterday's explanation a d upon a e is equal to b d upon c e here a d is equal to delta p1 a e is equal to delta p2 delta t1 delta t2 that's why delta p is proportional to delta t but now it is delta t f delta t f now i will remove this there is no requirement for this concept so delta p is proportional to delta t f equation number one okay now according to Raoul's laws, we know that T0 minus P upon P0 is equal to N upon N plus N, but small n is less than less than capital N, so it is negligible. P0 minus P is delta P. This is P0, W by M. N, N means W0, N0, okay, now P0 on the right side, W into M0 upon N into W0, if we want to remove equal to symbol and if we want to take proposal to symbol, then we will remove constant, here P0 and M0 are constant, so W by M into w0 in bracket p0 and m0 are constant student on the basis of equation number one if delta p is proportional to delta t f then i can write here delta t f is proportional to w by m into w0 here w0 is in kilogram this is the formula of molarity so delta tf is proportional to small m if we want to remove proportional to symbol we will take here kf into m where kf is equal to molar depression constant this is our kf molar depression constant kf is equal to molar depression constant again i repeat here so the point is here that delta tf is equal to freezing point of solvent minus freezing point of solution 
this is our delta T F. In yesterday's phenomena, delta T V is equal to boiling point of solution minus boiling point of solvent because boiling point of solution is higher than solvent. But in this situation, freezing point of <coughs> solvent is higher than freezing point of solution. That's why we are taking here formula that F P of solvent minus F P of solution. Okay, for numerical basis, you have to remember this formula and this formula. These both are two important formula for you. Now, unit of Kf, delta Tf by m. If we subject Kf from this equation, Kf is equal to delta Tf by m. But what is the formula of molality? W m W zero in which. W zero is in kilogram. We know that if, if uh, we are taking W zero in gram, then we have to multiply this with one thousand. Okay. The unit of delta T F is in kelvin. W zero in kilogram, and this is mass upon sorry molar mass upon mass. If mass upon molar mass mole, and molar mass upon mass, that is mole inverse. So the unit of K F is kelvin kilogram. Into mole inverse. That is our molar depression constant. Yesterday's phenomena is same. All the condition, all the roots are same. Just see what is the basic difference. Yesterday we have taken k delta T B, but here it is delta T F. Yesterday delta T B is equal to k B into m, but today delta T F is equal to k F into m. And in this, k B is equal to delta T B by m. K F is equal to delta T F upon M, and on the same side, delta T F is equal to freezing point of solvent minus freezing point of solution. So, when we compare molar elevation constant and molar depression constant, the basic difference between these two in boiling point, boiling point of solution is higher than boiling point of solvent, and in freezing point. Freezing point of solvent is higher than freezing point of solution. So this is the basic difference. If we want to find the uh, delta T F, then we are taking here K F into M. But what is the basic phenomena? Just see here. If we want to find molar mass of unknown substance, we will take, we will use this phenomena. Either it is freezing point or it is boiling point or it is Raoult's law. We will uh, solve different type or various types of example on the basis of delta T F. In delta T B in tomorrow's lecture, but till today, today we are studying new question, which is uh, molar depression constant K F. If you have any doubt in this query, in this question, so please ask by WhatsApp. And uh, if you want to be or if you want to take a notification, so please subscribe Alpesh Joshi small A in YouTube and spread this in your friends. Thanks.